Hello guys, welcome to EZTV International and also welcome to EZTV Presents uh, Tech View program. Um, today, uh, I'll show you guys uh, how you can how you can set up um, like a, any kind of server machine, uh, machine information and machine um, uh, information on your uh, desktop background. So that means like whatever machine you are using and when you log into the machine, um, it will automatically show on the screen like what what's the server name, uh, which user you are logged in, and also it's it, it based on you. Like you can customize by yourself uh, whatever options you allow, it's gonna show. And you can implement these things uh, through the GPO. Um, uh, I'll show you guys how you can do from the scratch. So the first thing is we have to download a tool called BZ Info. It's the Microsoft tools. Um, and then we have to um, customize uh, the options, whatever you want. Like um, if you want to show the CPU or memory or whatever information you want to show on the desktop. So let's start. Uh, let me share my screen. Um, All right, so first thing is <clears throat> search uh, BZ info, BZ info, and it will show you a lot of uh, options. And from there, the first one is shows HTTPS colon slash slash docs microsoft.com. That means it's take you to Microsoft site. So just click on this BZ info Windows sys this link, Microsoft Docs, okay. And BZ Info version 4.28. Download this version. Just download BZ Info. And it'll download as a, a zip file on your download folder. And then go to your download folder. The file is there, okay. So right click on it and you can extract all you can say extract. Okay, all right. So, uh, I think we have another busy info. That's why it shows like this. Okay, let me remove this. Um, rename it just busy info. All right. So, busy info. This file we just downloaded. Um, inside this file, when we extract it, we found um, busy info.exe. This info 64.8. Now we need to we need uh, we should uh, we have to create. Now we have to create uh, two files. So one one is customized file, and then we have to create a batch file, and that batch file will use um uh, uh, batch file we use the location pack. So we after we create these two files, then we have to put this all these files in somewhere which will be accessible for all, all the users or all the computer accounts, computer object. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to run this one using for the VXC. I just run as and yes, and you have to accept it first. I'm going to accept it. And then in here, if there's a lot of options, you can choose from here, whatever you want. So good time, do you want good time? Oh, sorry. Where is so it shows in here, right? Actually, um, I'll copy this one. I'll copy this option, this file to, I'll copy this file, and uh, I'll put it on one of my servers, this is my Active Directory server. So, this is my Active Directory server. So before 
I have this one, that's why it's showing here. Actually, I abstracted from this machine, that's why it's showing here. So it will show like this. In this machine individually, I run this one. That's why it shows here. Um, but if I if I have any other machine, just let me open that one. This one is pretty simple. Just um, So it's look like all of my machine. So this machine I didn't try before. Let's start with this one. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring back up e drive, right? We have have some space. I'm going to create a folder here. So uh, easy. Or you can directly paste it here. You don't need to actually do it. You can directly paste it here. This is right? So, <clears throat> in this folder, you have to share first. What are the properties? So, what so far what I did, I just downloaded it from Microsoft site and extract it and just copy the folder from my down site uh, from my local directory. My one of the server, any one of the server, but make sure one thing, whatever server you want, you wants to put this um, folder, make sure everybody has access on it. So just go to sharing, and then advanced sharing. Yes, share and then permissions. Um, instead of everyone, you can remove everyone and. I say the domain user domain users, and then add domain at least domain users allow all domain at being allow all apply okay apply okay. Okay. So this this one is accessible by other machine. So this is the machine in ELS backup, right? And I put it here. So now I now just I'm going to um, customize this. So you have to right click on the 64 one, which is busy info. Uh, let me show another one thing. Uh, the view option because I'm, I'm not able to see the extension, but the extension uh, for this file. So go to the extension, go to view, and then say, um, check out the check mark for hard extension, apply, and okay. So you'll be able to see the extension .exe.exe. So this 64.exe, this info, right click on it, run as administrator, and you have to accept it. Whenever you accept it, it will show you on your screen. 
Okay, boot time. Do you want boot time? If you don't want, just remove it. And CPU, default gateway. It depends on your team, which one you want. The answer, free space, host name. So here I want host name on top. Uh, host name, that's, I want here. And then CPU, default gateway, IP, IP version, I don't need IP version actually, I feel this is enough for me. I'm going to delete this one. Login domain, login server, MAC address. I don't need MAC address, too much information. Machine, uh, machine domain, this domain is using memory, network card, network speed, type, I don't need all these things. Network, network information. OS version. So OS version is important, so respect you don't need. Submit mask, I need it. It depends on you, actually, which one you want. Just customize it, that's it. And submit mask, username. So which user you log in? So first is, I, I need this one. Username, cut this one, and I want to put it under this. Okay. And also you can do something like design wise and the lead should work. All right. And so the uh, system type. System type is a little bit. Volume okay. So volume <clears throat> X. Uh, free space. I'll put it in the free space. So all the computer information is here. I want to uh, have this one. I think I'm going to do it. And also, let's start here. And then, all right, so CP to leave. It should not X. And CPU or okay, the IP address. Okay, IP address deals all on the login name. Default gateway, the SCP server, the NS server, I can just submit my system type. So all these things is going to put in the bottom. That's it. I don't know what's going on. If you want, you can add from here. Just click add here. So I already customized it. Now I need to save it. Whatever file name you want, you can use it. Uh, it's a config, right? This info config, this info, C-M-F-I-G, this info config. And the extension is bgi, dot bgi. So I'm going to save the where, uh, uh, here, this info, I just saved it. Okay. Now, now I have two files, right? Now I need to create another file, just um, text file. Okay. I already have one here. So you have to create a share path with this. That's it. Nothing else. Just share information. That's it. That's fine. So you just need to create a batch file. Dot this intro DXZ, another one is this one. So if you can copy this one, 
we have uh, in here small set so instead of okay I actually uh, for this one further information share path if you go back how can you get this share path what are the properties what are the sharing and then you'll be able to get here okay and just copy this share path network path and upgrade this one with this slash begin for yeah, same thing even here This info, this info config, right? You name it like this, right? This info config. This file. So make sure that you can uh, rename it and just copy for things. If you just spell it, it's not going to work. Okay, so I just copy like this. Paste it. All right. So save this file as a, save this. Batch file. Dot batch. So, um, G info as you can settings. Or you can say a simple G info. G info. That's it. Dot batch. That's from that. And save it on the info. Now I need to go to the file. See, that's what is ready. Now you need to create a GPO policy. Go to your um, domain controller or, or anyhow or you can access your group policy. You just need to, you don't need to go to directly on the domain controller as long as you have access um, group policy management. So from the group policy management, I'm going to group policy management. Group policy and create a policy, new policy. Name it uh, BG info. Whatever name you want, you can put it here. Okay. okay. Now BG info. Go to edit and go to the under user configuration. Go to policies, then Windows. And then script log on. So double click on it, log on script. So and then add browse. So browse this script. Now you can do in several ways. You can show the path while you put this file, or you can just copy the file and put it here. Both ways should work. So you can just copy this file, copy this file over here. You can pass it here. You can select this one. In this, in this way, you can you can have this one. Okay. So that means directly it's on the GPU. Or you can add, you can say okay, add browse, and you can go the share path, which one you created, right? So it's uh, slash slash uh, ELS backup. Backup, right? Mm -hmm. Use info like this. Okay. So you can use this one also, whatever you want. So actually the copy things is like, you guys gonna be confused. Don't need to be confused. Just remove this one, the first one. 
is, is a shared one. So everything is on the one place. And also we know all of the users has access on this share. And apply and okay. So we just created a GP policy. So what we did so far, we downloaded this info. We created, we created, then we extract it and copy it to one of the server, any server, whatever you want. And then um, you just passed it on, uh, just press the folder from your download side. And when you download, you get, after the extract, you get only three file. Ela.txt, this info64.exe, and this info.exe. And after that, you create it, you customize, you just open this info64.exe, and you customize it, and then you save it as a BGI, right? And after that, you create it, you open a notepad, and just show the share, uh, share path of um, your file, which is like this. The location path. You create a folder, right? So folder will give access to this info.exe and also this config.exe, this one. That's it. And now this file, we're gonna run through the, this This is batch file, this is script file. So we're gonna run this one through the GPU. So we don't need to copy this file for all. If we have like 200 machine, we don't need to copy this folder on our 200 machine. We can put it one central point, one server, and if the other, all other, uh, 200 or 119 server has access on this machine, then it can run. All right, so see how we can apply it. Now go to the, your uh, GPU policy settings. Uh, so this is the, our GPU. We just add the script file on that GPU settings. Now we need to apply it. How, how are we gonna apply it? If you can, if you can link it to any, any, any OU, you, you can link it. So for example, I have a lot of uh, 2012, 2016. If I, if I just link it here, then it's only applied for 2016 server. And if I link it on top under the domain, link existing GPU, and then if I select this one, uh, this info. So if I link it here, that means, uh, This in this info will be applied for all. So this is info. I, I want to make it number two. See the, uh, the link order wise, link order wise, the like GPU precedence wise is number two, right? GPU precedence. So I need to change the person because I don't know if for some reason uh, default domain settings has any kind of settings and it's it's, yeah, it's uh, block the app settings. Then it's not going to apply. So for making sure, make it number one as a priority. So right now, this precision for this info is number one. So I have applied. Now I need to reboot the server, or I can run. Uh, let's see, let's see, run CMD. Run busy. Um, GP update because we apply GPU, GP update slash force. So we are applying forcefully plus make sure this GP policy is applied for all. Uh, let me find out the machine, whatever machine we use for running this system. So here is backup. Let's see what we have better. So Linux backup is here, right? Under development 2019. And also let's see here um, on the development, how many GPU settings I have. So it's busy info, right? So make this busy info as a and four. So it's gonna apply anyhow, it's gonna be number one. So we applied this info is number one. So there is no way any other GPU can block this one because this one is number one as the answer. 
All right. So I need to run Let's run one more time. Computer policy is updated and okay, it's done. Now everything is updated, but it still is not showing here because I have to. Uh, before I do that, I have to check one more thing. I have to run GP result. Make sure I have it. So GP result then. Flash. Sorry. Flash. Then ten. I mean, I have ten folder here. Let me check ten folder here. No ten. Okay. Jake, like I can put on the secret. I don't have ten. Okay. Now you see what the result dot HTML. In the HTML format, just save it. I have to verify actually. All right, so GP result is here. Let me open this one. Let's see whether. find control F and then you can find the policy. So this is a CRI PT on the script, right? So script is matches nine for so the next not this one next So here is the script. Here is backup, vzinfo, dot path, file, um, winning GPU is vzinfo, right? So that means it's applied. Now, so I'm sure, like we are sure here that, that we already applied. Now we need to check. So close all these things. Sign out. And then all right, all right. So whatever design we made is in here. See, we made we the star, we made separate. So everything is your host name. Username, login, administrator, CPU, the login domain, LS. So if you don't want any, like too much information, you can just remove it. You can customize it anytime. time. So that's all for today. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching. Um, if you don't, if you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe my channel. Um, and also uh, click the bell icon to get my latest video.